Welcome to Mediumship by Picasso. My name is Picasso Roberts and this video is a follow-up to the posting that I did for the week. Um, it was, it's just a card pull and, a, and spirit messages that I, that I posted yesterday from the Washington Oaks Gardens. What a beautiful park that is. Really, really gorgeous. One of the things that I spoke about in that, in that message was an excerpt from my book uh, my book da -da -da, hang on a second I have things sticking out of it is walking the way a story of strength courage and my introduction to spirit this is my first book and um, I'm working on material for my second one now it's one of those things where Once you start the thought and the process of the book, of a book, it just sort of pours out and I'm, I'm waiting for that thing to click. It's coming. I can feel it. But I want to uh, go back to one of the subject matters was the, the, the connection, the mother connection. And I referred to this particular part of uh, my book called Strange Love. It's in the book, it's called a sidestep. It's, it's just a chapter or a, a, a place where I would put in a story um, or a specific writing. So I'm going to read that. My eyes are going to be down, so get over it. <laughs> I can't, I can't always, I can't do both. And um, uh, my vision's not that great and I have old eyes. So there you go. I'm going to read this and maybe just comment a little bit about that. This is going to be a short vid. So just hang in there with me. This is called, if you have the book, by the way, it's, um, it starts on p uh, page 271. Okay. Strange love. There is no stranger love than the love between a mother and daughter. It's a love that's so powerful on so many levels, it's almost unimportant to have the physical body there to carry it. It is strong enough to hold its own. Even when the lower emotions enter into the picture, like blame, guilt, or hate, it doesn't matter, because there is this crazy connection that starts from the womb. Trust me, I've run the gamut with my mom. Anger and hurt were the strongest emotions I had for years. Then I started to understand myself and who I am with or without her. I started to understand as I came to be the age she was when I held the negative emotions, and I get it now. The all-knowing light bulb moment comes on every now and then, and I have a better understanding of why she wanted to escape her life. I didn't realize I was affected on such a deep level when she locked herself in her room. I felt only her pain, but also my hurt and confusion. What a mess. Now that she is older, and I am older, and we both have gone through so much healing in our lives and in ourselves, I hope she feels the love she didn't get to feel when she was younger. I try to send it to her from a distance as often as I can, every day. As I walk through the house and she comes to mind, I feel her pull and I say to her out loud, I love you, Mom. I know on some level she hears it. This past week I received confirmation. I am still handling the last bits of business here in Panama before I can return. So even though I know that mom can't hold a steady conversation, I hope she receives the loving energy I'm sending her from the core of my being. I want her to know that no matter what we went through in our relationship, the good, the bad, and the ugly, she deserves to feel unconditional love. My mother is currently in a state of Alzheimer's. She is what I call floating along the in-between world. Before I hang up on the phone with my mom, I always say, I love you and I will check in with you in a few days. This past week, she said with clarity, you check in with me all the time. A massive feeling of overwhelming joy passed through my body. I asked her, mom, do you feel it when I send you love? Are you feeling it? She said, yes, she feels it. 
That was one of the most beautiful moments of confirmation I have ever had. It will carry me through to her end and when she is ready to make her transition. Whether it's 10 days from now or 10 years, that will do me just fine. I attribute that feeling of love to that mother-daughter connection. Although we didn't have a smooth ride, I'm grateful I was conceived out of love. Not the love of her husband, but the love of her soulmate. I am so grateful to be a part of that. So that is that is just a part that is an, what I would call a sidestep or uh, a story within the story uh, in my book, Walking the Way. So I, since I've written this book, um, since I'm back in country from Panama, um, my mother passed. And she passed in April of, gosh, I want to say it was 2018. She and I had such a close connection, but our roles were reversed. So coming up, I was the one to make sure that she was okay, not she taking care of me and making sure I was okay. So it was just one of those very, very strange things. And it started from way back, from from the beginning. Um, and I have a great respect for my mother's survival skills. Uh, she she had a hard road and she, she made it. So kudos to her. Uh, but it was a little bit rough. Well, it was a lot rough when she started losing her focus and her memory and, and clarity of thought and mind uh, with regards to Alzheimer's. But she's on the other side now and we are quite close now. And it's it's really beautiful. But I wanted to, to make reference to this um, based on the reading uh, and the card pull from yesterday. I didn't want to just leave it out there hanging. Uh, I thought it would be important for uh, those words to come out and for people to hear them and understand what I was referring to. So that's it. If you're interested in purchasing my book, you can go to my website, mediumshipbypicasso.com, and you can purchase it there. You can get it on Amazon. There are a couple different places you can get it. And there is a Kindle version on Amazon as well. I'll leave you with that. Know that you can get me on my website, mediumshipbypicasso.com. You'll see me here on the YouTube channel, which I'm growing um, and sending and putting as much energy as I can into it. Look to um, seeing some interviews done pretty soon here. And then uh, you can always check me out on my Facebook page, Mediumship by Picasso. I'm doing some local events in St. Augustine. Uh, if you're in the North Florida area, please come and see me at Amici, an Italian restaurant. I'm doing a gallery platform uh, demonstration on August 26th. Uh, at 7 p.m., you can go on to Eventbrite and purchase tickets there. Um, there are two tickets. There's one with food and one without food. Whatever you want to do is great. Uh, I'm also going to have some private events coming up where you can purchase tickets for, uh, a, not inside the, a restaurant, but in a, um, uh, a, a private space. So it'll be it's a little bit smaller venue. I think maybe 40 can get into that one. Um, I'm going to give it a shot with that. And uh, yeah, and then I'll have a, a couple of uh, festivals that I'll be uh, attending. Um, so that's that in a bag of chips. All right. I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope you enjoyed uh, the words and I hope you have a brilliant rest of your week. Cheers.